starting with the great name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful assalamu alaikum dear students i hope you all are fine and enjoying your sound health i am your english teacher i welcome you all to english online class for grade 6 dear students you have read unit number 4 seal a p your teachers have explained this unit in detail in your classes and hope you have understood it well so seal is a very big or large sea mammal and this unit is about the sea it is a mammal a mammal are the those who give birth to their babies so we are going to move we are going to move towards the exercises grammar exercises related to quotation marks we are going to do the exercises of unit number 4 but these exercises first are the grammar exercises which relate to the quotation marks which relate to the punctuation mark so before starting my lecture you must all you must know that what is the quotation mark clear what the quotation mark is so quotation marks are known as speech mark or inverted commas as well quotation marks are used to attribute the words or ideas of the speaker that someone has said something either verbally or in written form in other words we say that quotation marks are used to show the exact wording of the speaker this can be a phrase by a person or character the real wording or the exact wording of the speaker is also called the direct speech clear so quotation marks are also known as speech marks or inverted commas see the quotation marks very carefully these are the signs of the quotation marks clear so quotation marks are used to enclose the wording the real or the exact wording of the speaker or to enclose the direct speech of the speaker so the quotation marks which you put is called open quotation marks which is put before the quotation before the phrase or a sentence is open quotation marks and when you are going to close it with the quotation mark that close quotation mark is called close quotation mark clear c it is very clear uh, clearly uh, you have to see it in the picture open quotation marks and close quotation marks clear so let's move towards our exercises you have to open the book at page number 21 this is the grammar exercise of unit 4 see the quotation mark are used to show exactly what somebody has said this is also called the direct speech so whenever somebody has said something so that wording that real wording that exact words of the speaker are always enclosed in quotation marks clear so other punctuations like full stop commas and question mark usually appear within quotation marks whenever there is any other punctuation which comes in the quotation mark the punctuation must be put within the quotation marks within the speech marks clear they may be full stops commas and question marks you will not put these another uh, punctuation marks after closing the quotation mark no it will come before closing the quotation mark understood examples are given here see the examples full stop and commas and question mark usually appear within quotation marks examples are don't forget to turn off the light said dad dad has said dad don't forget to turn off the light these are the words said by dad so this real wording is enclosed in inverted commas clear number next example is call me when you are finished whispered and and whispered call me when you are finished this is the direct speech of the word of an and this is enclosed in inverted commas the next example is the man asked is there is the seat taken 
the man has asked some question and that question is is this seat taken this is asked by the man so this is the question sentence clear so you must know that after any every question sentence you have to put the question mark and it comes within the quotation mark not after the quotation mark clear so let's move to our exercise to solve it this is exercise number a the question is rewrite each sentence placing the direct speech within quotation mark first one is already solved see it i am bored complained the child child has complained i am bored so i am bored is the exact wording of the child so it is enclosed in quotation mark and comma comes within the quotation marks note it clear number second is charge road the army sergeant army sergeant has road he has spoken loudly charge so charge is the word spoken by sergeant so army sergeant so the charge word is enclosed in inverted commas the number third is two for the price of one shouted the lady on the market stall the lady has shouted she has said two for the price of one these are the real wording of the speaker so these are enclosed in inverted commas this real wording is enclosed in is enclosed in inverted commas or quotation mark clear number 4 is my manager said i am really pleased with your work the manager has said i am really pleased with your work i am really pleased with your work will be enclosed in in quotation marks because this is the wording of the manager clear number 5 is you look fantastic exclaimed the lady lady has ex exclaimed you look fantastic you look fantastic is enclosed in inverted commas why is it so because the lady has exclaimed these are the wordings of the lady you look fantastic it is enclosed in quotation mark next is don't forget to walk the dog every day don't forget to walk the dog every day reminded a vet vet is a animal practitioner clear so don't forget to walk a dog to walk the dog every day will be enclosed in quotation marks Next one is you need to practice more said the piano teacher you need to practice more said the piano teacher you need to practice more is enclosed in inverted commas or in quotation marks and the last one is this is the last call for flight 365 announced the air steward air steward has announced that this is the last call for flight 365 so this is the last call for flight 365 will be enclosed in quotation mark understood girls you have to solve this exercise the next one is exercise b and again uh, the, the there are some also uh, uses of quotation marks so how we have to use quotation marks in another way quotation marks are also used for the title of a song or a poem clear it means that whenever there is a name or a title of a song or a poem it is enclosed in inverted commas title means the name of the song or the poem clear so another uh, thing is this that don't forget to use capital letters for titles whenever there is a title of a poem or a song or any book or a novel so that word the first letter of that word must be written capital understood if the title consists of one word so the first letter of the word is in capital if the title consists of more than one or two words so the first letter of each word must be capitalized understood girls examples are given i wrote a poem called my favorite thing i wrote a poem called my favorite thing so my favorite thing is the title of the poem and this title consists of three words so you have to note it down that m of my f of favorite and t of things is capitalized here understood and this title is also enclosed in quotation mark number second example is every national day we sing national songs national songs is the special songs which are usually sung 
on our special national days for example independence days defense days etc so n of national and s of song is capital here and this whole title is in close in quotation mark i hope you have understood so let's move towards our exercise b the question is read these sentences pay close attention to capital letters full stops and quotation marks clear number 1 is night mail was my mom's favorite poem that she learned at school night mail was my mom's favorite poem that she learned at school understood so night mail night is the a night mail is the title of the poem so the end of night will be capital the end of night will be capital and then this whole title will be in close in quotation mark and after school you have to put full stop because it is the end of a sentence clear i'm repeating end of night will be capital and night mail will be enclosed in inverted commas or in quotation marks and after the word school you have to put full stop clear number second is their favorite michael jackson song is thriller what is the title of the song thriller yes so this thriller will be enclosed in inverted commas or in quotation marks and you have to put full stop and t of the will be capital repeating it again you have to put capital t in the beginning there is t small t of there is small so you have to put capital t there you have to write capital d and the title of the song is thriller so thriller will be enclosed in inverted commas so you have to put the full stop after uh, before closing before closing the quotation mark understood number 3 is for homework we had to learn a verse of a poem called snake f of four is capital because it is the start of a sentence and snake is the title of the poem so this will be enclosed in inverted commas or in quotation marks and after snake put a full stop clear next is the first song i learned was ringa ringo roses the first song i learned was ringa ringo roses so the title of the song is ringa ringo roses this title consists of four uh, three words this title consists of three words so first letter of each word will be capital r of ring another r of ring and another r of rose will be roses will be capital and this whole title ringa ringa roses will be enclosed in in quotation marks and after this you have to put full stop after the word roses then you close the quotation mark clear repeating it the first song i learned was ringa ringa roses ringa ringa roses is the title of the song so first r of ring will be capital second r of ring will be capital and then third r of roses will be capital and then ringa ringa roses will be enclosed in inverted commas or in quotation marks but full stop must be put here before closing the quotation mark clear next is i love to sing a sing and dance sang the happy girl i love to sing and dance sang the happy girl i will be capital so this whole speech i love to sing and dance will be enclosed in quotation mark and then after girl you have to put full stop i will be capital i love to sing and dance will be enclosed in quotation mark and after girl put a full stop next is you have one more chance said the game show host you have one more chance said the game host so you must see that why of you will be capital and you have one more chance will be enclosed in, in quotation marks because this is said by the game show host clear so you have one more chance will be enclosed in quotation marks and after host you have to put full stop understood number 7 point is please stop fighting back mom on the train journey so please stop fighting is the wording of the mom and this will be enclosed in 
quotation mark and p of these will be capital clear then after journey you have to put full stop the last one uh, point of this exercise is i read little red riding hood when i was young i read a little red riding hood when i was young the first i will be capital then little red riding hood is the title of the poem yes good it is the title of the poem so l of little r of red r of riding and h of hood will be capitalized and then little red riding hood will be enclosed in quotation mark and after young put a full stop i am repeating it again i will be capital then l of little will be capital r of red will be capital r of riding will be capital h of hood will be capital and this whole title little red riding hood will be enclosed in, in quotation marks and after young put a full stop i hope you have done it with me let's move towards another exercise and that is exercise c page number 21 are these sentences correct or incorrect now you have understood where you have to use the quotation marks where you have to uh, put the punctuation marks where you have to use the capitalization clear so uh, it is very easy uh, for you people to recognize to see whether these sentences are correct or not clear number 1 where is the train station inquired the tourist so if if uh, the punctuation is properly used here the punctuation is put properly so you will put a tick against the block uh, which is in front of each sentence clear where is the train station inquired the tourist is this a correct sentence yes it is correct because uh, in the question at the end of the question sentence the question mark is put here, here and the rare wording of the tourist that where is the train station is also enclosed in quotation marks so this is the correct one understood and after two you can see there is a full stop so this is the correct one so test put a tick in the first block clear second one is your time is up announce the examiner examiner has announced something but this something this uh, exact wording is not enclosed in inverted commas or in quotation marks so this is wrong so put a cross in sentence in the block number 2 clear number 3 is that was beautiful said the teacher when we finished singing firework that was beautiful said the teacher when we finished singing firework so this is punctuate very properly so uh, see this that was beautiful this is the wording of the teacher it is enclosed in inverted commas and firework is the is the title of the song it is also enclosed in inverted commas and it is also capitalized first word first letter of this word is capital here so this is tick this is correctly punctuated sentence clear the next one is do you have a high temperature as the nurse nurse has asked something that do you have a high temperature this is the real wording exact wording of the nurse which is not enclosed in quotation marks so this is the cross sentence this is incorrect so put a cross over there understood the last sentence of this exercise is mary said i can't remember where i put it mary said i can't remember where i put it so mary said has something but that something is not close into uh, in the quotation marks the real wording or the exact wording of the mary is not enclosed in quotation marks so this is not correct this is the incorrect punctuation sentence you have to put a cross over there understood i am repeating exercise c e, number 1 sentence is tick number 2 sentence is crossed it is not punctuated properly number 3 sentence is tick it is punctuated properly number 4 sentence is not punctuated properly so it is crossed and the last one is also crossed because it is not punctuated properly i hope and girls you have understood all these three exercises and you have done it with me now let's uh, discuss the homework your english homework is you have to do exercise c page 
English number 24. This exercise actually relates to the quotation marks. You have already done it. I have explained how, where to use the quotation marks, how to use it. So this will be uh, not uh, difficult for you to solve. Clear? You have to do exercise C, page number 24, with the help of pencil. You will not solve this exercise with ink pen or with pointer or ballpoint. You will solve this exercise with pencil because in my next lecture. I'll first discuss this exercise with you whether you have uh, punctuated all these sentences properly or not. Then I'll move towards another exercise. Is clear? So you have to solve this exercise, this given homework exercise, with pencil, not with pen. Clear? And your second homework is learn story number one done in notebook. And your second story, uh, second homework is. You have to done the story number one. You have already done two stories in your neat notebook, so you will learn story number one very properly with the difficult words spellings. Clear? You have to learn the spellings of the difficult words properly. These are your two homeworks. I hope you have understood your homework. And till the next lecture, I'll say goodbye to you. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.